I need to sit down for this one. Okay, wonder, <laughs> wonder egg priority. Oh. I'll, I'll let somebody else yeah. open oh. it up. <laughs> All right. Whoever's got them notes, yep. speak your mind uh, now. I actually yeah, do have it. pretty detailed notes. Oh god! Okay. <laughs> yeah, hit, hit us with them. Go for it. I, I did what I, I did what I could. Um, feel free to hop in at any point mm. if I need to be corrected. <laughs> I, I I did my best. All right. This week on Wonder Egg Priority, this was a head scratcher. This was a what the fuck episode. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say for the first like five minutes for anybody that is really sensitive to animals or animal like things being hurt. The beginning is pretty graphic. I felt it was more graphic Why? than last week. Hmm? Why do they keep gotta kill them animals? It, 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 <laughs> it hurt. That's how you know it's yeah, serious, uh, man. That, I, that was brutal. Like, not, not, to, not to not belittle what happened to uh, Pain, the uh, alligator. I think the turtle mm -hmm. got it much worse <laughs> right from the get go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I mean, it seemed oh, like yeah. the turtle died in one shot, but still. I, I there was know. just something that was just like I don't know, but anyways, anyways, I digress. Just so you know, that is right there, right at the beginning of the episode. Mm -hmm. Um, and this time, the one that murders uh Manon is another character named Dot, uh, which is obviously something similar to the another antagonist bug. killer from yeah, it's another bug, similar mm -hmm. to the one from the last episode, but not exactly the same. And she thinks she's just dandy. She thinks she's a great person, super nice, and she wants to be friends. She does not understand that what she did is fucked. Um, and then that that happened as a result of Rika. Um, I'm assuming reviving her her friend. Um, I forget her name, but the wallet friend. Mm -hmm. But yes. we don't really see anything of Rika afterwards. She looks horrified, and then it cuts to um I walking into the house of Aka and Uda Aka, mm -hmm. and it's at night. She's kind of just like peeking through. She sees some notes in a study about Thanos and Eros, and I kind of like picked through that to see if there was really anything to glean from that and i couldn't really find anything sensical anybody have anything to add there no uh, i think like you said just the pointing out of uh thanatos and eros kind of like what yeah. they had alluded to before like this larger mm -hmm. kind of battle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's one little bit about uh the the two um the two mannequins this is the uh, first time i think we've seen them not in just like those chairs and they're like down there like mm -hmm. i didn't actually know that they go anywhere else <laughs> Yep. Yeah, they were... we finally got to see kind of what that uh, wonder egg, like, what's the word, like, garden kind of exists of, from, yeah. like, the house and everything furthermore, so. Yeah, we got to see them move somewhere else. Yep. But yeah, yeah. continue, Taylor. So far, so good. So Uda Aka finds I going through, um, you know, the office, and he basically is like, all right, well, let me just give you our history and what happened. So he sits her down and explains that they at one him and Aka at one point were wanting to create their own AI um, creature, I guess, their own artificial intelligence person. And that was how they ended up creating uh, an AI daughter named Frill. And they basically raise her as like a normal human. Um, they love her. They have her do all the other human things. Um, that kind of goes fine for a while until another woman comes into the mix. Her name is Azusa Hoshina, and I don't know why. Like, I felt like she was, like, targeting them. Basically, she finds them at, like, a scientific convention. I don't even remember what it was for. I don't think it was important. But she finds them there. And I thought it seemed targeted. Aka says in hindsight, sorry, Ura Aka says in hindsight that he felt like she had seemed like a nice person, but that the they probably weren't, like, the best at understanding women. And then it, mm -hmm. you're kind of left to, like, figure that out for yourself. She um, apparently likes Akka, and apparently both Uda Akka and Akka like her, even though I think they're married. Does anybody they're know? Husband. They're married, they're aren't they? Yeah, they, yeah. Get, they get married. They yeah. show, like, their wedding day and stuff. No, no, no. Yeah, they ma like, Akka marries her, but I think they mm -hmm. were married beforehand. Yeah, the, the, like, they were yeah. together, right? Akka and Uda Akka, yeah. Because they even said, like, something about husband at mm -hmm. some point there. And then, like, oh, I after... Well, yeah, I know it was kind of like implied, and then after the after she comes into the picture, Frill gets jealous, and she, or at the very least, she starts to act out, and she confronts Uraaka at some point. She's like, "So, who are you more upset at? The man who let who who, the woman who seduced the man, or the man who was left you and was seduced by the woman?" So that happened. Um, they had a, kind of an awkward. It's very clear that like Frill was unhappy with the situation. She felt like she was being replaced, and then the woman becomes pregnant. And it gets mm -hmm. even worse. And she ends up murdering 
the woman. Yeah, <laughs> and, that scene uh, was so fun too. And he's like, "Hey, you know, Frill, how's it going?" And she's mm-hmm. like, "Oh, you know, what's up?" And he's like, "Oh, are you ready to be a big sister?" And he's just like, <laughs> "Lol, nope." And tosses you know hair dryer slow mo <laughs> into the bath, and it's just like, "God damn!" Like yeah. total you know fits in terms of like that AI like just. You know, it reminds me of the movie Deus Ex Machina. If you guys have ever watched that, like it oh, does, just, just mm-hmm. super blurring of you know AI and like actual human like emotions and. It kind of yes. reminded me of the movie Splice from back when too. Some of the like the oh that's the, yeah Splice. Oh, <laughs> I like how like they made Frill. They basically they even mentioned like yeah we did it because like we were bored basically. Like, mm-hmm. they, it sounded like it was just an easy thing to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, they didn't go into that too much. But like, yeah, oh, I didn't really. I didn't get at the beginning where like, <laughs> um, where Aka and Uraaka are working for that company. Is that company? It's not the same company that Nehru is at, right? Or I is it? I don't think so. No, no, no. no, no. I don't no. think so. No, right? But I just no. know like they were talking about like, oh yeah, like we were the only people that could actually do this work, and they mm-hmm. had them like under surveillance, like basically twenty four seven. So, mm-hmm. just kind of adds more to like this, you know, kind of corporate evil that exists in this world. But anyways. Back to they, yeah, did they ever, killing uh, babies. Uh, thing. Did they ever like explain when they stopped surveillancing them? Because it went from they were yeah. like, being, like under surveillance for twenty four, like twenty four seven, and then they were able to just build this AI and those like no questions asked. Yeah, I thought that was kind of weird too. And then they were able to get married. Or, like, are they done with the project? Like, what happened? Did the company go under? I mean, they didn't really explain what happened. Yeah, to the company, right? point too, like, oh, you know, like, you know, is it something that because they either worked for this company or was it the fact of like, we don't really know too much further about like how smart they were or like what they actually did to warrant, you know, kind of this merit or focus on them. Yeah. So. so. This- this whole history was very much more focused on the human drama history portion of their lives rather than mm-hmm. like the factual logistical details of, of mm-hmm. how it all yeah. happened. So yeah. hopefully we'll Makes get sense. a little bit more on that. In one episode. <laughs> well, there might be. Okay. Okay. We'll get to, we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll, get yeah, to we'll, that. we'll get to that. Continue. Okay. So, um, so she kills the woman and she's thrown into like a, like a, she's basically buried alive um, by Ura Aka, who is very upset. Hmm. And she's locked away, and then um, you but get the baby, you find the baby out survives. Yeah, yeah, baby yeah, survives. You, find, mm-hmm. you find out that the baby survives. Her name is Himari, and they start to raise this child together again. And there is a really awkward scene where Himari <laughs> wants to marry Ura Aka, or hypothesizes that if he can, you know, wait for her, because you know she she looks like like her mom. They, that he was also in love with after she she stole his lover away. I don't know. It's all really, really freaking weird. I don't understand why it has to be this, like, tangled up in each other. This doesn't seem mm-hmm. like that kind of story. This is very VC Andrews. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, the child lives, and eventually, at some point, you find out that, the like, right after that conversation, it seems like that. Himari dies, commits suicide. Well, so let's not forget though the the attribute of Frill, where Frill constantly, you know, puckers oh, her lips mm-hmm. and pops her, her lips. lips. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> like God and, damn it. Oh. And so when you know Araka is having the conversation with uh, Hanami, she yeah. does that similar mannerism, yep. and he has kind of mm-hmm. like this holy fuck, like mm-hmm. how how did this happen? Like, am I just you know overthinking it or? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that it was, was creepy. Creepy. It was creepy. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Yeah, it was. The whole episode very, was very creepy. I felt. Um, and then so so she dies, and Uda Aka figures that she managed to do it through Dot and Hyphen, which are the two characters that we've seen in the last two in this episode and the previous episode that killed like the familiars of these of these uh, girls. Mm-hmm. And we know that Frill is the one that created them, but we don't really know how. Uh, but yeah, she used them to kill her, but we don't really know like at what to what extent. Like it, it, she it looks like she committed suicide and that's really all that we know for sure. And I think that's most of what I have for my notes other yeah. than after that happens where, you know, the daughter dies and then Uraaka basically assumes that it was Frill and he goes, you know, back mm-hmm. down into that basement to open up and find that she's connected to like all these computers. Um mm-hmm. he takes or he takes Frill like basically out somewhere, right? And we're assumed that he kills. Oh yeah, Frill. like burns are alive, right? Because there was fire. Supposedly, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know we didn't see her like yeah. die, die, but mm-hmm. I mean, she's alive. 
Yeah, she's alive. <laughs> Somehow. And then, and then there's one, there's he, he one other friend that Frill created, right? So as you were saying, there's hyphen dot, and then didn't they show like one other? Like, yeah, I actually thought they, something? they showed two others. Okay, it could be. Yeah, I can't remember how many were in kind mm -hmm. of like the uh, yeah, I think it was the vials together. or whatever. So you know, to yeah. conveniently match the number of MCs that we have in the series. <laughs> right. What yeah. a coincidence. I feel I feel like mm. their names have some significance as well, like you said of like hyphen and dot, like kind of like a Morse code type thing or something to do with like. <laughs> the interwebs yeah. yeah i'm waiting for comma and period next anyway. <laughs> so far we have a, a butterfly and a dragonfly i think those are the two faces we've seen of these oh yeah i didn't things. even think about with yeah the second yeah. one they did have dragonfly wings uh, yeah so then it kind of cuts back to current time uda aka is still talking to i and he tells her that he thinks like the reason that they wanted to put themselves, him and Aka wanted to put him themselves in these bodies was to continue their research because they feel that there might be something that's out there that is giving like an extra push to people to be committing suicide. Mm -hmm. Um, some like like perhaps they've created that thing that's like the um temptation of death or whatever they call it, and they're trying to research that, and it seems like that's affiliated with Frill. That was kind of up in the air for me. I'm not 100 percent sure, but that seemed to be the gist. Yep, basically. Yeah. And then at the very, very, very end, um, we see basically all of the cast so far um, on different monitors, kind of look into what we saw in the, like, un w when Frill was buried, she had a bunch of monitors and, like, tape coming out of where she was buried. Mm -hmm. And it was similar to that, and we see all the different ca um, cast um, dealing with different things. Like, Rika's obviously very upset after what had happened to Man, and there's something going on with the other characters as well, but I couldn't really clearly see. And then it ends with, I... And an egg. I don't know what to say about that scene. I watched it like two times and I don't know what she was doing. Does anybody else know? Uh, At the just, very, very end when she was like outside. Yeah, and, uh, just I remember let, it, but. Letting out frustration, yeah. it seems like. Uh, okay. Yeah. Maybe we'll know and more next episode. Aka asked Ura Aka like why he wanted to tell I. And he was just like, well, because if she doesn't start building some barriers or something, she's basically just going to be completely weak against Frill. Yeah. So <sighs> there's a lot going on. Definitely. Yeah. There is way too much going on in this episode. <laughs> way, yeah, especially for one, yeah. for one episode to bring it all together and have, you know, yeah. that what we assume to be final conflict. Like, right. Man, Justin, I don't know how you do these summaries all the time for so many different things, especially like AOT. <laughs> that is stressful. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Um, but no, you did a phenomenal <laughs> job. Like I'm looking at my notes. Like I literally had like same exact notes. So kudos for, you know, giving everyone the summary this week. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. You know, it, I really enjoyed what they're doing. But again, I think, you know, for all of us in the back of our head, it's kind of just like we have one episode. Like, <laughs> And the fact that it's an anime original chances are it's you know if we look at other anime originals they don't ever really get kind of continuations so uh, i'm just hoping That's it's a... not something where it's just like okay now we have to gloss over all this stuff and we have to have this final battle with i and i somehow you know through the power of friendship you know <laughs> resuscitating all her other friends from depression so that they can fight hyphen dot comma period and you know <laughs> defeat this this greater evil so that's my fear is that i hope that doesn't happen but It'd One be nice episode, to, 20 yeah. minutes, oof. Yeah, it, it, it would be nice if, if they actually do somehow do like another season or even not, like not even like another season if they don't need another season, but like they need um, another just, season. Just like, just like a little bunch because I know they did um, uh, Real Life where they just did like a random like they did like the first season, but then they had like four extra episodes that just that was like yeah, way kind of right down the road. Yeah. Um, so the, I mean, even though that like from the originals for that one, like the manga, like they cut out some, they cut an entire arc from the manga but anyway um even if they kind of give us more because i a lot of anime originals too i feel like they they, they always rush the ending too mm -hmm. like it always seemed like they just like there's uh i think was a uh where they just have so much shit that's compacted that they try to fit in it it would be really nice if they did just announce the second season but i feel like um that would almost be too much with what's left or from what we've seen so far, I don't know what they're going to show or tell us in the side next episode. Yeah, no, I definitely agree with that too. I, I do think like another twelve episode season, like they would really have to like start opening it up like yeah. much wider than just like Frill. But it seems yeah. like with this last episode, they made it very clear that like, okay, hey, you know, Frill is well. We don't know if Frill is even you know Thanatos. 
So that's a whole nother thing too of like what is Thanatos and Eros yeah. that Akka and Uraak are, are referencing. Yeah. So I would say maybe Thanatos is probably just the name that they're giving the temptation, right? Like whatever mm, frill okay. or like whatever frill is inflicting on these girls to push them to suicide. I think that might be that what they're is calling Thanatos, Thanatos, the concept right. of it. Okay. And then, uh, you know, I have to disagree, though. I, I feel like with everything that they just unloaded in these past two episodes, they have more than enough content to do a season two. You think 12 episodes, though? Yeah. I, I you, agree with you, Koo. I mean, you, th- you think about it, right? Like, you still have to figure out what's going on with Frill. Who is Thanatos? Uh, there's obviously two more uh, creatures that's going to go after I and Neru, right? And then, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it looks like uh, Akka is not a mannequin anymore. It looks like it might be that that... Firefly uh, thing, firefly thing that was like near uh Uraka at the end, right? Oh, I didn't notice that, yeah, right. I because yeah, he was just in the form of a firefly, yeah, like unless the voice came from like an intercom in a house, oh, right? Oh, <laughs> right? Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's kind of how like the season started, right? When I was talking to like the cicada, remember, I was talking oh, yeah. to a bug, yeah. like, the oh my god, oh, right. bug. Yeah, right. the, I yeah. forgot okay. about that, yeah. So, no, like I, guess I, can... sh- I guess I should have known that, right? <laughs> so, so, like, they can transfer their conscious to any being that they make or whatever, so yeah. Uh, yeah, so there might be a significance to that. Yeah. There's, like I said, in these last two episodes, I don't know why they're doing it this way, but there's so much content that you have to look at that you can definitely flesh it out for another 12 mm-hmm. episodes. Oh, and true. then, like, they might not even finish it, honestly. They, they because... could do some... Yeah. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go. Oh, no, yeah, there, there's so many plot holes, too. Oh, just that would suck. Long, that would make know? me even more upset if they just kind of really left it some open-ended interpretation and, like... Oh, yeah. I don't know. Like, what would would you rather have it be like open ended, and then you don't know if you're gonna get that continuation, or would Justin, you rather have it be? You, be you know me well enough. You, you think <laughs> yeah, I want to be yeah, open ended? Yeah. Come on, buddy. Let's be real. Uh, I'm too biased. With I need, what I need to answers. It can't be like what they do with Promise Neverland. I know this is an extreme, but man, <laughs> yeah. I get these vibes where it's like, to your point, there's so much that they could do, but with mm-hmm. what they have, maybe they're just like, nah, fuck it, which would be really sad to see. Yeah. I feel like I feel like if this is like the only season, I feel like they could they could cut some corners by like saying like Frill is like uh like Frill is controlling all of this, like all of her four like uh you know bug buddies and um whatever else. Like it, I feel like you know it, it could be one of those where you destroy Frill, you destroy like a like a big chunk you of destroy all the underlings and stuff. Yeah, yeah, which I I hate because it's it, it, it like well actually well I guess it depends on the time, but it, it could just easily cut out a lot of that could be that could be interesting of like basically oh, what those things are it, it would make sense because you guys have yeah. to remember at the end of the day frill is just an ai right yeah and then you know once you put something on the internet like it stays on the internet forever <laughs> so maybe she did some kind of like voldemort thing where like she just split her like her consciousness to like different beings and then she's always going to be there, like right so like how do you right, stop man. How yeah. do you stop That's all something too? Yeah, like it could very much be that, like they say, even if they do rush it and like they have like this final battle and they, they kill, kill Frill, and then to right. your point, Koo, it could be you know this another cliffhanger now of like because she's an AI and she uploaded her conscience to the internet, that could very much be like, hey, you know, final kind of scene. You see like this other monitor light up and Frill is there, you know, doing her her pop lip noise. It's yeah, like, you oh, know. Fuck. That- It'd be a thing, right? Like this next episode is the season finale. They somehow kill Frill, and then they just like have a black screen, and oh, all you hear man. is the pop noise. It's like, oh, yeah, that would be that would be that would be wild. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so I think yeah, we just got to see what what the finale holds. And I have like two more things to say about yeah. this, which are that one thing that I remembered after watching this whole episode was that the previous episode ended too with I asking that teacher exactly what mm-hmm. happened to her friend. And we still haven't touched on that at all. So that human aspect, that more realistic, less that's like the stuff that's like separated from all of this craziness is still kind mm-hmm. of left unanswered. Um, which kind of leads me to like how I feel about the show in general. And like, I haven't really been worried about if there is going to be a season two or not. I've been just kind of like, holding off worrying about it until we know for like see how this ends but one thing that i've been really i'd be curious to hear about from you guys is like for me i really liked the human aspect of this about bullying i feel like it was telling a really good story showing like the struggles that some people go through Mm -hmm. and just 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 doing a good job of it and then i actually really like all of this sci-fi all of this other stuff that's been introduced in the last two episodes but it's kind of confused me when they come together and i don't really love the fact that i really don't like the fact that there's the implication now that there's something that frill is doing that's pushing people to commit suicide because i kind of feel like 
It's undermining the normal everyday struggles that people who actually do get driven to that point mm -hmm. do by things that actually no, exist. I uh, I so, totally agree with that. Actually, I think it was something that like I would have been completely fine if um you know the show was just kind of this concept of like girl suicides and kind of you know the importance of highlighting kind of the different scenarios of each girl and kind of these interactions that you know cause mm -hmm. their respective um friends or you know connected individuals to why you know they committed suicide and what kind of you know social factors you know played into that um i think alternatively though i have to kick myself in the foot a little bit because i feel like very early in this season i was always like all right i'm waiting for my modica moment i'm waiting for them to just completely <laughs> you know pull you the did. script <laughs> like you know pull the sheet out from under us and like just this greater evil to come forth and I, I I got that, so <laughs> you know, damn. Yeah, I screwed power, myself. Power scare, isn't it, Justin? Yeah. <laughs> it definitely is, man. Yeah, definitely is. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I have, to, I have to stop and think about what I'm gonna say because I'm just scared <laughs> of my powers, you know. It's all right. It's great responsibility, so, you know. All yeah. that all that jazz. <laughs> but no, I, I, I totally agree with that. And now it's something of like, well, damn, I got what I asked for, and now it's like, okay, how how are we gonna, you know, resolve it? Yeah. So yeah, but then to the point of Taylor too about the whole like, like focusing on bullying, what you can do to stop it, like the impact it has on like people in everyday life, and the fact that you know they had four different girls from different lifestyles, right? Like you could totally see how bullying like impacts everyone in a sense. They all um, had different issues too. That yeah. yeah, and then but the thing I've noticed too is like whenever their like animes try to like display bullying and how much of an issue it is, they never really fully come to a conclusion. Commit how to yeah like what was the cause of it how do you fix it you know and then like yeah. you know you have a happy ending i feel like whenever bullying is evolved as a like a plot device mm -hmm. you're about to have some like messy oh. messy plots so i guess is it more so is it safe to say that like did you feel that frill kind of undermines what they were trying to do earlier in the season of like yeah. the girls yep. and their struggles because yeah mm -hmm. i mean yeah when the girls come back they're just like oh thanks for saving me and then they poof and it's like yep. oh yep. so that makes sense yeah i totally agree I with that know. I just feel like it could have been like almost two really diff like two different shows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, there's true. like so much material that was introduced <laughs> in this episode that could just be in a yeah. completely different show or a spinoff or something. I don't know. And then this happened after a recap. Like, who does this? Like, <laughs> why would you completely change the direction of yeah. a show after yeah. a recap? You know, it's like and a late recap, not not like an early recap. It was a late fucking like, recap. Episode eight yeah. or something. Yeah. 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 Totally agree. Totally agree. Uh yeah. We'll I, see. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's 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 nuts. Wait, no, I, I, think was, I think it was actually episode nine. Uh, it was nine point five, I think, for the recap. Damn. Was that oh. skate? Yeah. Oh, uh, it, it may been have been skate, skate too. Skate, I, I swear, had like the exact same time too. Mm -hmm. I will say though, that I think that the the creepiest moment of this episode was like after you learn all about Akka and Uda Akka's history, and Uda Akka comes back from burning Frill. We think. And sees Akka sitting in the chair outside, which is where we've already seen them sitting in that same position we always see them in. I kind of got mm. the creeps. I was like, "Holy crap, man! Like you guys really went through a lot." And even though it's all kind of weird, yeah, I mean, really, there's a lot of just, like men. the subtleties now, yeah, of like how you yeah. tie things from earlier in the season, and now that we know more about Akka and Uraka, it's all coming together. So, and yeah, I, also, I just feel like the artistic direction of the show is just really phenomenal. Oh yeah, I still think they're evil, evil, evil beings. So and just... they, they, uh, this all happened because they just wanted to uh, create a daughter for the hell of it. <laughs> yeah, they're bored as hell. They got, they got, home, they got tired of each other. I mean, I think it's a fine <laughs> thing, especially when you're under surveillance twenty four seven. Like, <sighs> true. Yeah. Uh, but we digress. All? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's so I much. I think we, yeah, we could continue to talk about further. <laughs> I think it's safe to just yeah. cut it off here. And of all the sh of all the shows, this is the one where like it's the final episode. And it's just like goddamn. Like, what is what could actually fucking happen? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, okay. You guys want to make any uh any guesses? Yeah, I have no idea. I, I can't, man. No, I don't. I, I, can't. I, I don't like know. you said, with with <laughs> great power you, comes man? great responsibility. Um, <laughs> Koo, I'm going to take your words yeah. of advice and just shut my mouth. But my my guess is like, if we don't get a second season, it's going to be one of those where they're going to cut the corner. They're just going to try to say like everything's connected to Frail, kill Frail, and then everything just kind of works itself out. Okay. With possibly okay. an open ending, ending, open end, whatever. All right. Well, I I want to throw out there that I'm thinking the the key thing that's going to help because I think Nehru is going to like be okay as well. Like Nehru and I, they're going to like like uh, resurrect their friend. They're going to come back, disappear, and then like comma and dots comes over or comma and <laughs> hyphen or whatever comes over, right? And then um, I feel like 
Misaki, like uh, Neru's friend, I feel like she's going to be a key thing to helping them figure out how to stop Thanatos or Frill. That seems like some season two stuff, though. It would take so long to get there. Yeah. No, but if you think about it, right, when when they finish their mission, their friend mm-hmm. that they're trying to resurrect comes back for like a split second. Mm-hmm. And who's one of their friends? Like Kotobuki. So oh. maybe in that split second when she's revived, maybe she's like, hey, like, like, congrats on making this this far. Like, I met Frill. This is what you need to know. And then she disappears. And was then, it? like, uh, yeah. But that's what I'm guessing might happen. Essentially. But isn't Na- the person that Nehru is trying to save sister. is her sister, right? Yeah. Sister. Oh, yeah. right, right. Her sister. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Okay. So. There goes that there. It was good. It was I, good, I, though. I, no, I think it again, it, it, it's, a, it's a testament to, like you said, Ku, there really is a lot of stuff that they can mm-hmm. do here. So mm-hmm. we shall see. Yeah. That's yeah. all I got. Yeah. Yep, we definitely. We covered everything here. We, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we dissected we everything. Just covered and more. Apologies, everybody, if you don't watch, you know, Wonder <laughs> Egg, but there's a lot of shit going on here. Yeah, but so. if she comes back, a, you guys all, if, you, if if I'm correct, though, like if, if Kota Buki <laughs> comes back and she's a key character to the solvingness, hey you all owe me dinner, right? We have it on record. No, Fair you enough. all owe me dinner. I'll send right? I'll bet oh. you, man. Store it out there. Dude, this, this, fuck, this show is just completely something else. It's nuts. It's insane. Yes, I guess not. David's coming. Cut us off, David. Yeah, please.